In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a simple but effective way to color grade your sports videos inside of LumaFusion. Let's get straight into the video. Before we hop into LumaFusion and get started, we need to verify what camera settings you're using so that this tutorial can best suit you. If you're shooting in log, whether it's C-log for Canon or S-log for Sony, then you need to watch every step of this video to get the full process. But if you don't shoot in log, then step one of this tutorial, you can skip because you don't really need it. With that being said, step one is to convert your log footage to what we call Rec. 709. Now, in a lot of the creative LUT packs, they have converters built into them. But if you don't feel like buying one, LumaFusion comes with a built-in Rec. 709 converter. So either double tap your footage or click this little pencil icon at the bottom. Go to your color presets with this button right here and click this square right here for your LUTs. Scroll past all of your user downloaded LUTs till you get to the regular LUTs. And these two right here are both Rec. 709 converters. They look pretty similar. So either or, I think it's like a slight difference in maybe skin tones with one of those, but both of these a Rec. 709 converters, and it just basically gives your footage a slight little bit of life. It's not full color grading, but it just gives it a little bit of life because log makes your footage very dull for a reason to give it dynamic range, but Rec. 709 just brings it to life a little bit. Now, once you've converted your footage over, the next step is to add a creative LUT. Now, some people, they like to do their color adjustments before they're at the creative LUTs, but me personally, some creative LUTs kind of punch in colors and stuff like that more than others. So I like to add my LUTs on first and then make my color and shadow adjustments afterwards. So over the years, I've bought and tried out a bunch of different LUT packs from a bunch of different people and companies. And I found that my favorite look packs come from a company called Editor's Keys. And more specifically, my favorite ones from them that I currently use is their Vintage Film LUT Bundle. It's like 24 bucks, so not nothing too crazy. And it comes with a couple different LUTs, like different areas, not different areas, different time periods, like the 50s, 80s, arcade types and it also does come with a rec 709 converter so if you want to use theirs theirs is the one i currently use i'm going to make sure i get my money's worth so i use theirs rather than the one that's built in aluminum fusion but all of them are relatively the same but yeah comes with a bunch of different luts and all you do is you know buy it download it and import it into aluminum fusion now that you have your creative lut purchase and import it into aluminum fusion now it's time to add it on to your footage. So double tap your clip again, go back to the color and effects tab and click the cube button at the top. And as you can see, all of your user LUTs from the editor's keys pack are in here. But the main one that I use out of the pack that I use to color grade a solid 95% of my footage is their 80s LUT. Now, as you can see, when you immediately add it on, it's punched in a lot. It looks super contrasty a little too contrasty actually. But that's why LumaFusion gives you the ability to kind of blend it and punch it into your liking. So me personally, I usually blend it into about, I would say about a 35. It ranges depending on the settings that you're shooting in. But sometimes this is all I have to do for color grading. Add the Red 709 converter and then add my filter on. And if I get my camera settings perfect in camera, then I don't want to do anything else, and that's literally will be the end of the tutorial. But that's not the case. So in order to make those color corrections, what I do is you back out of this and you go to this little paint icon right here. And these are just like regular, regular built-in LumaFusion color presets. But the one we're gonna use is an original color preset. As you can see, when you add it on, it does absolutely nothing, and that is the purpose. Your original color preset is for you to dial in and change your other settings. Let's say your white balance is messed up, you can adjust your white balance, or if it's, the highlights are a little bit too much because you tried to overexpose too much, you can adjust that. 
or bring up the shadows that's what the original color preset is for now in this shot in particular what i would probably do my white balance is straight i don't really need to really hit my white balance the only thing i would probably do is slightly bring my highlights down and i do that one of two ways one of course bringing down the highlight amount but also two you can bring up your gamma and that kind of darkens the clip a little bit but that is really it my color grading process is super simple i'm not a professional colorist i really just want my footage to be as close to the human eye as possible but that's really it Make sure y'all are tuned in to the channel because I'm gonna be posting a new video of some sort every Wednesday. So every Wednesday, be on the lookout for a new video and I'll catch y'all in the next one.